President Emerson Nnangogwa has retaliated against the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CSIC move as to request the Southern African Development Community set assistance as in Zimbabwe's election dispute on August 23rd and 24th. The CCC announced this week that it had chosen not to file a legal challenge against Nnangogwa's re-election given the political rather than legal nature of the Zimbabwean situation. Tension between the opposition party and Nnangogwa's administration has increased as a result of the situation. Umningogwa declared yesterday at the National Sports Stadium, where he was inaugurated for a second term, that undermining our national institutions and laws would not be accepted under any name. No nation or group of individuals should reject the free will decisions and opinions of the Zimbabwean people. After labeling last month's elections in Zimbabwe a gigantic fraud, which the SADC and other foreign observation missions similarly denounced as failing to satisfy regional and international norms, CCC leader Nelson Chamisa is vehemently advocating for SADC's intervention in the country's issue. We firmly uphold and defend our distinctively Zimbabwean values, cultures, and standards without apology. Zimbabwe is an independent nation that has no enemies and is friendly with everyone. The ideals of respect for one another and the sovereign equality of all states, as established in the United Nations Charter continue to guide our participation in and interaction with SADC, the African Union, the United Nations, and other nations in the Committee of Nations, according to Unengogwa. The SADC nations look divided on the election results. With Nevis Mamba, the leader of the regional body's observer team, claiming that the elections broke both local and regional constitutional laws and norms. As some heads of state from the SADC, the African Union and the rest of the globe conspicuously skipped Umnengogwa's inauguration while some nations were nice enough to send delegates, the divides became obvious. Hakane Hichalima, the chair of the sitting SADC Troika, did not go to the inauguration. He dispatched Steny Kokubo, his Minister of Foreign Affairs. Out of the 67 invited heads of state, just three showed up for the ceremony. Felipe Nyusi of Mozambique and Felix Chesekedi of the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC joined South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. Tanzania, Kenya, and Eswatini sent their Prime Ministers. While Botswana sent its Vice President. Umningogwa made a commitment to support democracy and the rule of law, which have been contentious subjects during his first five years in power. He also promised to be tolerant of the opposition. Democracy, good governance, the rule of law, and the politics of tolerance will be firmly established in accordance with the spirit and text of our holy national constitution and laws under my leadership and that of the next NUPF government. My new government will continue to defend the institution of traditional leadership and the right to practice any religion, he declared. Speaking outside of the inaugural ceremony, Faikom Balula, Secretary General of the African National Congress ANC, the main party in South Africa, praised Umnengogwa's victory and asserted Zimbabwe's sovereignty. In Zimbabwe, there was a calm election that was not marred by violence. We are aware that Zimbabwe wants regional integration as well as prosperity. We reject imposing any kind of sanctions on this nation. The ANC party respects the people's will and the nation's sovereignty. We are aware of the damage that unilateralism has caused to states like Iraq and Afghanistan, he continued. The United States is not a perfect country when it comes to elections, according to Mbalula, thus their perspective on the elections and their outcome is worthless. America is not the global law enforcement. Since they too have issues, we don't listen to their advice, and they can't make us change, he added. The throng assembled for the inauguration gave former First Lady Grace Mugabe a standing ovation. The occasion was also attended by former Vice Presidents Felika Zilam Foko and Joyce Mujuru.